right now we are in the center of Copenhagen looking for trash in the water. There are only two rules to use the kayak. Firstly, you need to spend your time picking up trash while kayaking. And secondly, share your experience on the social media. So those are the rules so you don't pay anything. The concept is that is totally for free. Hi. Hi. When you walk the streets here and you're looking at the water, you see clean water, you see that it's, it's really nice and as you can see here behind me, people are swimming in the water in Copenhagen. But when you get in the kayak and when you start looking down, you will see the trash and you will see tiny bits of plastic and you will see plastic bags. So there is a lot. So using the green kayak is actually also the op opening the, the eyes of uh, of the volunteers who are using the kayaks. Let's get the trash. These ones are actually a little bit hard to see because they're so transparent. But with the kayak, you go very close to everything and that's how you discover that there is trash. This is a classic example of what we see all the time. This is the top of the cigarette, cigarette package. They always end up in the water. The special thing about plastic is that when it's in the water, it breaks down, but it breaks down into smaller pieces that, you know, if you have one bottle and it breaks into two, into two pieces, then you actually have two pieces of plastics and then it, the, it just goes on and on so well <laughs> even though it breaks down it doesn't mean that it's disappearing we are doing something to change the mind the mindset of people to think more about if they see trash in nature if they see trash on the street you know they might they should pick it up because uh, in the end it will end up in the ocean and can't help that plastic in the ocean is a growing problem. We will see more and more and uh, the ones to pay are the, the species living in the water, you know, fish and whales and yeah. cigarette butts. Even the tiny bits here are very important. This may look as bread to a duck. The kayak, they are really scouting for, for trash and it's a, it's a treasure hunt for them and sometimes they come back before the, the time is up, they empty the bucket and they go for more and it's a... Uh, it's great. What a, what a positive thing and what a great story to tell that uh, the, the kayak was uh, fully booked every day and tons of trash was ending up, not in the water, but right here in the bucket. You know, the first year, one kayak picked up three tons of trash just in Copenhagen. Now we have collected more than 13 tons of trash with the kayaks. So as you see, there is quite a lot. Plastics, six packs, cans, takeaway stuff, and the usual plastic bags. Oh, about three kilos. That's good.